Welcome to the Art of Happy Her. I'm your host, Sandy. And if this is your first time listening, thank you so much. And if this is your first time, please listen with an open heart. And I hope that you return. Thank you for tuning in. If this is not your first time, welcome tribe. As you know, we always have an intention, a journal prompt, and I always ask people their zodiac, astrological birth chart, their cultural background, and what makes them their higher self. If you listen to episode 11, you will find that I already covered a journal prompt and the reasons why I did that, and also our intention for the astrological um, episode. I just want to continue because we have so much to talk about. We have to talk about the summer signs, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. But before I do, I want to review um, that your your persona, how people see you outside this and the outside world, the car that you drive, the clothes that you pick, that's your ascending. And that um, how your characteristics, your correct, I hope, listen. If you listen to episode 11, you know I struggled over this word. Your correct, your characteristics is your archetype. That's your sun sign. And your descending is how you are emotionally and what you seek in partners. Partnerships as in your work partner, your career partner, or your life partner, or your children. Um... Excuse me. Before we start the three signs, I want to let you know that I might include the houses today. But if I don't do that, if I don't include the houses, we will have to do another episode on that. It depends on timing. I just don't want to go over because I usually go over on every episode. I go over, I'm like, almost like a Gemini. Like, I just don't stop talking. It's just that I don't have any Gemini. I don't know why I do that. But anyway, <laughs> that's um, that's that on that. So let's talk about summer signs. Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. So in this episode, Cancer, the crab. Um, think of Cancer as home is where the heart is. So the planet for Cancer is mo- the moon. And um, this is important because it's very emotional. It's, it's, the, 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 um, it's like who you are when no one is looking. Uh, Leo is the lion and is the king of the jungle. And then Virgo is the virgin. It's practical perfection. So summer is just for fun, right? And family and just um, vacations. So think of uh, think of uh, these signs as gathering, fostering emotional connection amongst people and between people and community. All these things grow and flourish during the summer season. So these signs, when you think about Cancer, Leo, and Virgo, these are the signs of the summer. They share the season and their unique influences. Okay? And what I um, think you should know about cancer, I wrote this down, that they wear their heart on their sleeve. How many cancers, there goes the light bulb question. How many cancers does it take to screw in a light bulb? One. But this, ther- but his therapist has to talk to him into it. <laughs> so... Um, cancer is from June 22 to July 23. They are, the element is water. They are a cardinal sign. They start things. Um, their energy is yin. Their ruler is the moon. Their color is silver. And the gem is pearl. The ba- the anatomy that rules cancer is the stomach and breast. Okay, and um, the words that come to my mind when I think of a cancer is um, feeling, sensitivity, and nurturing. Um, the symbol is a crab. And the, the crab has a hard shell, 
right? And the cancers that I know appear very stoic. And their faces very looks they always look like not always, but most of them look like something is happening or they're mad or something. Hard. Hard show. But it's not true. They are far from that. They're totally emotional. Um, things about crabs is that they are warm and understanding. And crabs always lend a sympathetic ear, a lap or a shoulder. But these moon-ruled children won't look to get the same from you. They won't. They might be the most sensitive sign of the zodiac, but they're also the least likely to let you know what they're feeling. Crabs hide their emotions behind what they believe is an impenetrable shell. Um, for crabs, it's all about security. In fact, that's the major point of cancers. Crabs are learning about emotional and physical security, as well as responsible nurturing. They are the nurturers. They are the mother of the signs. So in the zodiac signs, we have the child, which is Aries. We have the mom, which is Cancer. And we have the dad, which is Capricorn. So keep up with me, guys. These are all like fun facts that you should just write down. Um, at their best, crabs are dependable. They are loving. They are adaptable. And they are self-sacrificing, which means like a mom. Which means that at their worst, they can be clingy, they're oversensitive, and moody, and smothering. That's at their worst, right? Because they are a cardinal sign. They start things. They know how to start things. Crabs are easily distracted. Just about anything can set crabs' imaginations running into another direction. Crabs are always off on tangents. Like if they start talking about something or something or they're doing something and something just like happens like a wrench, like um, then they go on that. And then from that leads them to the other thing that gets them upset. Um, picture, you, you could picture a crab on the beach. They're always scrambling sideways rather than moving forward. They do get where they want to go, but they get distracted easily. You get it? Have you met a, a, a cancer that they know where they're going? They're going to get there. And they're not slow at it either. It's just that they want attention. They go sideways. They don't go forward. And especially if, 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 if it's, um, it's hard for them to move forward. If they think of something, they stay sting, thinking of that. Especially about um, outside world. They think about a lot of how... Um, the rest of the world is looking at them when they're doing something. They do get where they're going. And um, often without the rest of us realizing, realizing that they got there, they just get there. Um, don't ever take um, the clever crab for granted. That's for sure. Because they'll get there. They'll leave you standing in the sand wondering which way they've gone. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs can... Hang on very tightly when it comes to love. Crabs who didn't feel cuddled as children might seem cold and distant as adults, but in their indirect way, they're really dying for attention. Crabs have natural fear of revealing themselves. Those soft insides are very vulnerable. So they're never going to approach you directly. You know, those conversations that go, what's the matter? And then they say nothing. Chances are they are a cancer. Uh, they won't tell you. They won't tell you. They just won't. I, I, and, 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 and what's crazy is that they, they, they think about other people. And they care about everyone and their empaths. They feel everything but themselves. They can't, they can't tell you that they're feeling that. And the good thing about 
us talking about this today is that you have awareness of your archetype and you can work on that and you can either use it to improve or use it to um, be better or to explain things and have self-awareness, right? Um, yeah, so water signs are good with other water signs. Um, cancers are great with cancers, with Scorpios or Pisces. They understand that things, the things that cancers understand. Um, in Pisces in particular, um, they love that they have intuition, just like they do. Still, they can be too emotional together when it comes to emotions, but at least the intuition part, they, they love that about them together. Um, crabs are good with earth signs also, uh, because, uh, that's their opposite, uh, like with Capricorn, especially Capricorn, Virgo, and well, they're earth signs, but Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus um, keep because they they're water, so they want to keep the earth fertile. So Capricorn and Taurus and Virgo are good with crabs. Gemini can be fun, but might feel too smothered, and Leo might. They might love the attention, but the only issue is that because they don't return it, crabs don't return it like that. The affection that Leo want and that Leo that Leo shows, and that could be an issue between those two signs. However, if you know this, and if you are if you are a crab and you are with a Leo, if you know that Leo love affection, then. And you know that you're not good at it, you work on it. So that's a good part about knowing this, right? Um, so crabs are nurturers. I know it sounds so weird, right? They're nurturers, but they don't show it. That's like, what? <laughs> They're nurturers. But um, the body part that rules them is the stomach and the breast. So it's important to eat food and nourishment that um, that goes with with that part of your body because depending on your culture make sure that you understand that because as a crab most of the time they have stomach issues um, and weight issues um, when it comes to the stomach and everything that's there when, it, when we're saying stomach we're not just saying you know, the stomach that holds the food. We're also saying the torso part, your liver, your kidneys, that part, especially your liver, your colon, um, your stomach, um, because um, they, they love creating comfort through food. So they're prone to being overweight. So just, you know, step it up a notch when it comes to walking or running. Uh, no sign is as sensitive to touch than a crab. They're always reaching out and touching and they're very sensitive to hot and cold. You'll see crabs wearing socks in July unless it's very very hot outside but you'll see them. Remember that crabs rules the moon and the moon rules the crab and the moon has no light source of its own. So crabs reflect everything around them and their emotions and the flow of the tides, everything. So that's why they're, they're empaths. They don't have a light of their own. They go by what's around them. Sometimes you see a crab walk into a room and they're quiet. They are absorbing everyone's light, everyone's um, feelings and emotions. They're not mad. They're just absorbing it because that's the planet that rules them. The luminary, which is the moon. Crabs are homes. Um, their homes are their safe heavens. Heaven. Um, even if they do carry their homes on their backs, it might be 
the pillows tossed about for comfort, anything. But they'll, they'll have something that it reminds them of home and they carry it with them. Um, they love good smells. They, they, they love um, being home. They love their home to be cozy. And um, chances are that crabs have a dog or a cat because they love to snuggle. Um, they they might have sometimes if they travel they travel with um, their favorite picture or their favorite blanket or a pillow because again I said home is their safe heaven haven and um, they sometimes at home they create their their corner on a couch something that that makes them feel very rested and assured um but rest assured they will be a dog or a cat or maybe more than one crabs nurture any creature that comes their way um crabs at work crabs can often sense future trends and be on the cutting edge just so you know that's that i think that's that's a thing um, according to Greek mythology, this is a star fact. Um, according to Greek, Greek mythology, Demeter um, was the goddess of earth, was responsible for agriculture and growth. When Demeter found out that Pluto had stolen her daughter, um, she grieved and forbade anything on earth to grow. And then Zeus had Hermes. Um, and they went to the other world to strike a deal with Pluto because, um, I'm just saying this to say, because it's important for you to see how cancer, cancer is Demeter. Demeter is associated with cancer, the sign of motherhood and responsible nurturing. Um, so if you read the Greek mythology, you'll see that cancer was so upset that, um, let me see what, what I wrote here. Because um, Cancer had eaten seven. Uh-huh. Yeah, I wrote that. So the thing is that Cancer is the mother of the earth. And when she gets upset over something very emotional that hurts her very emotionally wise, like she'll cast like a forever spell that you think it's like the worst thing that ever happened and it's because they just take in every little single thing to the next level and you're like well that's emotional but um that's just the, the way they are mothering quality might come out of uh, at work i see sometimes that um a cancer will be um birthing new projects new products um, in a company, they take care of others by feeding them or nurturing their emotional selves via teaching. Crabs are often found in creative areas like writing, um, drawing, uh, because writing involves the part of the, of the genesis that requires gestation, creating something new, unknown, and birthing. So they love to draw, they love to write. Um, they're, they're creative. They, they like new projects, new things, and they have empathy for others as well as their, um, anyone who's coming into their lives. Um, they love to play with creative arts, helping them generate works that connect with everyone. They are tenacious. They hoard their money just like they do with everything. In fact, no matter how much they accumulate, they may never feel entirely secure. They hold on to everything with tenacious grip, including their assets, and they keep it to themselves. You won't often find crabs broke. They're far too concerned with security to be broke. They know what's happening with everyone around them because they're sensitive to others. They also are learning how to be responsible nurturers. They love and support their offsprings or create projects until they reach maturity. Um, in partnership, crabs seek 
intuitive people, that's why they like Pisces, sensitive type who will devote time and patience to the family unit. In the business setting, crab descent um, likes partners who can work and create projects that are fulfilling. And let's move on to Leo. <laughs> Leo, the lion, king of the jungle, the light bulb. Let's go to the light bulb. So how many Leos does it take to screw in a light bulb? One. And a hallelujah chorus while she does it. So it takes one. With a whole motherfucking crew around them, applauding them and throwing confetti at them because they did it. Um, I can relate. That's my ascending sign. <laughs> um, Leos are a fixed fire sign. They're filled with pride for family, friends, and accomplishments. The symbol for the for Leo is a lion, and um, summer. Is usually the season to shine. So Leos, they bask in the glory of that. And their planet is the sun. So what does the sun do? The sun comes out and shines, right? Um, they're dramatic. They love the spotlight. They're bold. They're creative. And they are strong. No other sign can grab and hold center stage the way a Leo can. Who's telling the jokes, leading the songs, rallying everyone for a game of softball or volleyball or, you know, starting a party? It's a Leo. Leos, they like to lead. Um, they will lead, actually. They will lead. I, I, I'm going to tell you a, a funny thing. Um, I have friends that are Leo. And I know that... If we're going somewhere, well, I knew when we were younger, because now, you know, we have dialogue and we talk, whatever. But I knew that we were going to go where my Leo friend wanted to go, period. You want to get along with them? We're going there. That's it. Point blank. It's, it's, it's just that the, there's no other way. Um, they're not argumentative. They're not confrontational, but they just know where they're going to go. So they expect you that you're going there. Um, Leo's. Um, are at one with the creative principle. When a Leo is your ascendant, your purpose is to learn how your willpower affects what you create in your life. Self-expression and creativity are everything to Leos. Eventually, they learn to follow more than just their own will. They align with themselves and with the higher self and the creative principles of the universe. Um, do they give up? Never. They never give up. They do come to a point where they align themselves with the purpose and everything. But when they're younger, they're more like following their will, period. Um, and that's what I want to say about that. Their element is fire, their quality is fixed, their energy is a yang, their ruler is a sun, the color is gold, and the gem is ruby. The anatomy that rules Leo is the back, the spine, and the heart. That's why there's willpower and creativity and expression. Um, who is a Leo that you should know about? Uh, ben Affleck, uh, Lisa Kudrow, Lucille Ball, Robert De Niro, Mick Jagger, Madonna, um, Bill Clinton, uh, one of my best friends. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the worst and not the worst things about Leo. Not the worst. Leo is a fixed sign, so. Leo can be determined, stubborn, or even habit-bound, but confident Leos are born to lead, and they're proud. They are courageous and self-assured. Moving my feet. Um, 
Leos can be generous, commanding, ambitious, and proud. I said this already. And this means that they can also be intolerant, demanding, self-righteous, and vain. Because their memories are short, however, they are quick to forgive. So, you know, they're, they are quick with um, being ambitious and demanding. But if you cross them, they forgive you. They just, they're just like a big lion with a big heart. Um, Leos are always leading and they're often surrounded by yes men. Um, so sometimes when they are in the spotlight, they have a lot of yes men. So sometimes they, because they don't get no's, they're really not in tune with reality. And I'm going to leave that at that. Um, in turn, they can, they, they can lead to gullibility. You know, they're like gullible. Because they're easily flattered and they can forget that not all that you see and not all that's around you loves you. And, um, yeah, they can also become overbearing or self-centered if things aren't going their way. Let me see what I wrote here about uh, the fun fact. Uh, why do so many Leos go by one name? That's true. They go by one name, Madonna, right? Um, I wrote that, and what did I write? Uh, lions live in and for the spotlight. And with that kind of lighting, they can go by the name they choose, like Jackie, Mick, Madonna, Napoleon are just a few Leos we recognize from singular names. So yeah, you know, there's 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 like a Leo like Fidel. When when people say Fidel, you know who we're talking about, Fidel Castro. Right? Because you can always call a Leo by their first name only and know who you're talking about. And, and that's a fact. <laughs> it takes creativity to generate excitement. Well, Leos are among the most creative signs of the zodiac. The sun, after all, provides illumination, and it's through that light that Leos truly shine. Generous Leos expect generosity in return. They love being in love and the drama that love provides. Le Leos are loyal. They can actually make it difficult to end a relationship with them. Leos um, expect adoration. They want you to adore them, but they'll give it as well. So it's not like, like cancer. They adore you and they expect you to adore them, but they don't, sometimes they don't show that, but these people, Leos show you, um, Leos expect adorations, but they'll give it as well. Um, like kings, they'll graciously give their loyal subjects all they can. A fire sign, they usually do best with other fire signs. Like Leos are good with Leos, Sag, and in Aries. But lions can be caught up in the intensity of a Scorpio or the refinement of a Libra. Um... They are good matches with um, with air signs like Gemini and Aquarius. Um, that's the opposite of the chart. Um, so usually opposites attract. So they are good. They are a good sign. Um, in particular, uh, they learn a lot from Aquarian because Aquarians can be detached, very different from. A Leo, but they learn because they provide them with perspective and give them balance, if it makes any sense. A healthy Leo, no one is healthier than lions. The alignments that touch the rest of us seem to pass them by. The strength is due in no small part to Leo's rulership. 
of the back, spine, and heart. Even the words such as lion's strength. But lions can be less strong emotionally. When they fail to get the adoration and respect what they deserve, they can actually become physically ill. Lions are like cats. Sometimes they are lazy. <laughs> But um, just one thing to to take into um, consideration about lions is that their homes is their castle. And they love to show them off almost as much as they love to show off themselves. Lions give great parties and won't hesitate to keep the food and wine coming. Home is another place where lions' generosity is evidenced. They're always a place for everyone to sleep and friends are welcome to stay as long as they please. If they're not entertaining, you might find Leos roaring when they're upset. But you might also hear them purring, purring like kittens when everything is in order and they get the attention that they need. Lions um, can be generals. They can be presidents. Um... They might be teachers, principals, uh, because they like firing up students because they have a lot of enthusiasm themselves. Um, lions can be found in performing arts. Sometimes they are singers and um, they're in the spotlight. Um, think of Mick Jagger, right? Uh, shining with the brightness of, of the sun. Um, and they're usually in the public eye. And that's why sometimes my ascending is a Leo and that sometimes I can come out as um, someone who is um, charismatic or magnetic. And that's because of that. And that's not true though. Like that's like, that is true because it is my ascending sign, but I'm not like I'm a Scorpio. Um, actually, I like my a long time. <laughs> um, but a lion shines even in less visible fields. That's the difference. So, um, above all, lions need an audience. They, they like to be the subject at work. So, they like teaching, consulting. They like guiding, they like management, and of course, performing. So if you're Leo, look into what used to make you really happy when you were a little kid. Most likely, if that's not what you're doing at work, then most likely you don't feel fulfilled. Because Leos love a spotlight. Fun facts. Leos are kings. And kings are lions. I'll leave you with that. Leos and their money. Um, when they see something they want, they get it. Um, they like living a good life. According to lions, has nothing to do with what things cost. And this makes them most generous. Nearly royal in their magnetic magnanimity. I don't know why I wrote it if I can't speak it. That's crazy or pronounce it, but I wrote it. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. For a Leo, what you see in, in my partner is a reflection of me. That's how they feel about their partners. So... It's important for Leo that their partners look the par or, or have the things that they like because it's a reflection of themselves. And that concludes my Leo. And I'm going to go into the Virgo sign. The practical perfection virgin. And let's ask the light bulb question. How many Virgos does it take to screw in a light bulb? You thought I was going to say one, right? Wrong. 
four, at least four. One to take out the light bulb, one to check the wiring, one to put in the new light bulb, and one to clean up the mess. Purity, perfection, practicality. These are the virgin values. But what does this translate into? This is what I wrote. Improving the world means serving more than oneself. It means serving the greater good. Virgins are very responsible people. The symbol for a virgin um, looks like a Scorpio, like an M, but it has like on, on the right side of the little, of the M of the leg, it has like a cross in it. Um, virgins are about order and connection. They see things very clear and they see each part of the whole in a way that fewer signs can. A virgin sees perfection where others see messes and does whatever necessary to bring that perfection out in everyone because they see everyone the same way. Virgins are all about find, finding patterns, especially in especially sacred patterns. And I'm going to give you a fun fact. Um, in Native American tribes, the virgin 